Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, doing another video on the Las Vegas UFO incident. Apparently, and this was sent to me by, I'm gonna go ahead and just say her name, we call her Harley MK69 over here on YouTube, she's part of my community, she sent me a video, apparently there was more clear footage of the entity, or the person, or the thing, or alien, that this guy had seen in his backyard. Whatever the reasons are, I think we're all aware of how, you know, they want to hide certain things about certain things. And I I, I get it. I don't, like, I don't get it. I, I understand. But we're going to go ahead and give a reaction. I'll give my personal thoughts. Big Alien fan. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this is Craig back here. Well, I'm not going to call him Craig. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the footage because I'm really excited to give my thoughts on this. All right. This Las Vegas man just uploaded the clearest images of the creature that allegedly landed in Vegas. For those unaware, on May 1st, Las Vegas police officers looked into reports of two mysterious objects allegedly falling from the sky. Right. Moments after this happened, a family called officers. Yeah, I did a reaction to that video. If you guys want to go check that out, I give my quick thoughts on it. I really didn't know what to think at the time. Uh, There's even people in my comments actually saying that it was probably a meteorite, if anything. I just didn't know the full story, but okay. And claimed to have seen something in their backyard that they described as not human. Based on body camera footage, an officer visited a residence on the night of April 30th to speak with a family who reported the sighting. According to one of the family members, they had seen a big creature that was long and approximately eight to 10 feet in height. The law enforcement <laughs> officer informed the family oh, that boy. he was investigating their claims as a fellow officer had witnessed an object in the sky that matched the family's description approximately eight minutes beforehand. The officer candidly shared that one of their colleagues had also reported seeing an unidentified object fall from the sky, which piqued their curiosity. Now, dozens more photographs have been sh Is this the creature right here? Is that the real picture? I don't know if it is or not, but it keeps showing it, so I'm kind of assuming this is what he saw shared online, allegedly showing the mysterious creatures. As of right now, various residents have come forward with their own reports, backing up allegations that two mysterious creatures were seen running throughout the area. Oddly enough, this is- Okay, so he keeps showing this image, and I'm not trying to pause it every five seconds. This is the image that he took? That is as clear as day if this is legitimate. That is clear, man. He's not too far off looking from my buddy back here. Though his eyes don't even... No, I can actually see, yeah, their eyes. They look sunken in at first, like they were really sunken in. Eerie. <laughs> Eerie, if that is true. ...where things take a strange turn, as some of the residents have come forward and said that the creature didn't appear human, and even described them as having the ability to go invisible. Now, a man who wishes to remain anonymous... Has you ever seen the movie Signs? When the alien camouflages itself with, like, the background wherever it's standing? said that he captured one of the creatures running through his backyard. He said that he heard noises coming from outside, and so decided to investigate. When he looked outside his window, he could see a large, eight-foot-tall creature looking directly at him. His porch light turned on, which gave him a much better look at the creature, which he described as having olive-green skin and two large black eyes. He noted that he was able to take five photographs, but said that this was the best one. He said that if it wasn't for the outside light automatically turning on, then it's likely that he wouldn't have seen it. The man thank, turned the thank brightness God for that light. the photograph and said that you can see its thin skin along with its head and large black eyes. This is just the latest news to come from this mysterious event, and it seems that as each day goes on, more and more details are being revealed. Various other residents have come forward and said that they witnessed something strange hit the ground while others said that several days before this, a large silent craft was observed flying over the area. The declarations have been confirmed by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. So it's not just these guys. These guys right here who experienced it. It's other people around the area who are experiencing some sort of extraterrestrial or UFO unidentified flying object just around that general area. Mm. Gives a lot more According to the audio recordings that were taken directly from the officer, a man claimed to see a figure standing at eight feet tall next to the object, while another figure with large eyes remained inside of it. Those who saw the object before it made contact with the ground said that it seemed to defy the laws of physics, 
moving with a smoothness and precision that surpassed any known aircraft. As it approached the ground, neighbours started to come outside of their houses, questioning what this object could have been. Since these reports have come out, speculation has run rampant among those living in the area, with theories ranging from a secret military experiment gone wrong to an advanced craft from another world. Oddly enough, since some of the details have been announced, it's caused those living in the area to say that this was no ordinary event. I'd say not, The wreckage no. contained materials unlike anything seen before, and the two large creatures that were seen have yet to be explained. As of right now, there's been a lot of discussion about mysterious aircrafts, and the discovery of a crashed... Un okay, anybody in that area, get your phones on the ready. <laughs> Just have your phones always on hand, so when something happens, you take pictures right away, right? Even knowing, I'm sure, you know, hushy-hushy, I get it. Uh, no, we can't have you posting that. An identified object within the borders of the United States would undoubtedly be a watershed moment in human history. The implications of such an event would be far-reaching, affecting not only the scientific community, but also the realms of technology, geopolitics, and even the fabric of society itself. First and foremost, the immediate response would likely involve a flurry of activity from various branches of the US government and its intelligence agencies. The crash site would be secured, and a team of experts, including scientists, engineers and military personnel, would be dispatched to investigate the wreckage. This team would work tirelessly to analyse the technology, materials and any potential biological or extraterrestrial artefacts recovered from the crash site. Right. The scientific community would eagerly anticipate the findings from this unprecedented event. The topic of mysterious aircrafts and advanced life has long been a subject of fascination and speculation. Many theories and claims suggest that the United States government possesses evidence of mysterious aircrafts and advanced encounters, but actively hides this I mean... information from the public. One of the primary reasons for them not sharing this information is national security. If the government possesses evidence of advanced technology or encounters with ancient civilizations, they may fear that disclosing this information could jeopardize national security interests. The advanced technology and capabilities of advanced beings could pose a threat if it falls into the wrong hands or if other nations gain access to it. Therefore, right. the government may choose to keep such information classified to protect the country's strategic advantage. The disclosure of mysterious aircrafts and advanced life could have profound societal implications. It could challenge deeply rooted religious and philosophical beliefs, causing upheaval and uncertainty among the population. I mean, I think that that's clearly obvious. We know all of that stuff. Of course, they're not going to relay any of this information to be legitimately true, even knowing not too long ago the Pentagon kind of actually did come out and say that, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, there actually are UFOs, things that we can't explain flying through the sky, so you're going to see those things. Sorry, they're real. Basically, they've already kind of confirmed that, yes, we do are aware that, yes, they exist. <laughs> they're there, yes. Of course, they're never going to say whether or not they actually have these things in, in you know, they actually have these things, right? They're not going to say that. This stuff is interesting, but it's already things I know. I'm more interested about the Las Vegas stuff. Erosion of public trust in institutions and the destabilization of established societal norms. In order to avoid potential chaos and maintain stability, the government may choose to withhold information. The possession of advanced technology could provide a significant advantage in various fields, including military, energy and communication. If the government has managed to reverse engineer this technology, or harness its potential, it may wish to keep this knowledge secret in order to maintain technological superiority over other nations. The fear of losing this advantage may drive the government to conceal evidence of mysterious aircrafts and advanced life. It is possible that the government itself may not have a comprehensive understanding of these aircrafts. The phenomenon may present challenges that defy current scientific knowledge and technological capabilities. In such cases, the government may prefer to keep the information hidden until it can be better understood and studied. The fear of releasing incomplete or inaccurate information could lead to the decision to withhold evidence. The disclosure of this information could potentially trigger widespread panic and fear among the public. I guess. The unknown and unfamiliar nature of advanced beings could create a sense of uncertainty and vulnerability. Governments may be concerned that mass hysteria 
and irrational. No, it's not like I don't appreciate him going over this stuff. It's just, and I don't want to come off like I'm being repetitive, but these are conversations that people have been having for a long, long time. They're really going to, you know, dive more into the Las Vegas situation. I have to only assume that the image that we were seeing of that, you know, alien and, or the extraterrestrial was the photo that may have been the entity. I Behavior could ensue, leading to social disruption. In an effort to maintain order and prevent public panic, they may choose to keep such information under wraps. The revelation of this news could have significant economic implications. Industries and sectors that rely on conventional technology and resources may face disruption or obsolescence in the face of advanced technology. The government may seek to protect vested interests and prevent economic upheaval by keeping evidence concealed. So, yes. What do you image. make of this strange event? I think it's rather fascinating. Not really a whole lot I can explain. Of course, I wasn't there, so I can't really tell you whether or not that's truly what happened. And take their word for it, that this really did happen, and there were actual extraterrestrials just wandering around on this guy's property and around the area. I'm just going to assume that that's, that's what happened. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below. Okay. Okay, so that was that was rather interesting, and of course, you know, of course, I wanted, and I, I'm sorry if I was repetitive. I did want more of the the Las Vegas situation. I was hoping that we would get more, and maybe I'll find more videos. And if you have any links or anything, please leave the links down in the description below. But that was rather fascinating. Of course, I already knew most of that stuff. Uh, I already knew that the government, of course, was not going to release any information, especially if they actually did find something or have something or whatever. I, I get it. I do. So that stuff's not really surprising to me. Concept of the Las Vegas situation raises a lot of questions for me personally. I'm, I am curious because, again, I do love the thought of extraterrestrials. I think they're out there. I really do. I have personal beliefs in them. So I am wanting to check out more of this stuff. Guys, if you want me to check out more alien videos of or situ uh, content of the Las Vegas incident, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, I will do my utmost best. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the, the comments down below. And until next time, keep it retro and do take care. Thank <laughs> you.